So guys, for the first method, you want to go to search and type in mmsys.cpo. Click on it. And then once you're on this, make sure that you're on the playback tab. You want to find Realtek Audio. Once you find Realtek Audio, you want to click on it and then click on set default. You might also have Realtek Digital Output. You can try that as well. So click on it and then click on set default. See if that works for you. If that's still not working, then for the second method, you want to go to search and type in device manager. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to expand sound video and game controllers. Now in your case, it should be saying Realtek Audio. Once you find Realtek Audio, you want to right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search automatic for drivers. Make sure that you have the best drivers for your device installed. See if that works. If that's still not working, then you want to go back and then click on browse my computer for drivers and then click on let me pick from a list. If it says for you Realtek Audio in this list, then you want to go with that option. If not, you want to go with the other option. But most likely in your case, it's going to be saying Realtek Audio. You want to select that and then click on next. And if you get this, you want to click on yes. Now once that's been installed, see if that works. For the next method, in the bottom right of your taskbar, you want to click on the speaker icon. Now you want to click on select a sound output. Make sure that you have your correct speaker selected. Now you want to go back. Make sure that this is not muted and that you have this turned up. Also, you can go to search and type in SND VOL. Click on it. And now once you're on this, make sure that the application that you want to use has not been muted and that you have it turned up. See if that works. For the next method, you want to go to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to click on check for updates. Make sure that your computer is fully up to date. Now you just want to restart your computer and hopefully this will not fix your problem. 